Looking to take your static image or scene and liven it up with a video animation texture? Simple. Let's delete the default cube and light and set up an example scene. I'll reset the camera location and rotation to face forward and sit back. I'll also set the camera type to orthographic. Shift A to add a new mesh. We want a plane for our image. Let's rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis and scale the X and Y to the same as the aspect ratio of our image. Zero on the numpad gets us into camera view, then S to scale it to fit the camera window. In the shader tab, we can add a new material. Shift A to add an image texture, connect color to color and select your image. As you can see in the render, the image is quite dark. Let's add the image to the emission color to give it some life. Now we want to add our screen. Shift A to add a mesh, a plane again since we are doing a TV. Rotate it to match the scene and scale to the aspect ratio of the video if it's not going to be a custom shape like mine. Our two meshes are currently in the same space, so let's move it by pressing G and then Y to lock direction. I'll reshape mine to match the TV in the scene. If you do this, make sure you are in the camera view by pressing zero on the numpad. Press tab to get into edit mode and have selection mode set to vertices. Starting in one corner, I'll work my way around until I get a convincing fit. Once we're happy with that, we can add a new material for the video. Shift A to add another image texture, connect color to color, and select your video file. Again, the image is quite dark, so add color to emission color too. Now if we go into the animation tab, change to material view, and play by pressing spacebar, we don't see much happening. Go back to the image texture node and select how many frames of the video you want to play. I'll set mine to the default 250 animation length and then toggle on auto refresh. And there we go. The other settings here are for if you have a shorter video, say 25 frames, you can make it loop with cyclic. Offset will say which frame in your video you want to start from and start frame will set the point in your animation that the video will stop playing. Then if you look closely, you'll notice some odd behavior in my video. This is because we made an odd shape with the mesh. To fix this, we want to go into edit mode. Select the whole mesh, right click and subdivide. This little subdivision tab allows you to edit it. As you increase the number, you'll see it repairing. Much better. Now we can enjoy our nice atmospheric Fox Den video on our new TV. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions and comments down below. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.